Hello, today I will be putting together, showing you how I put together my um, cat post, my uh, cat post, scratch cat post. This is everything that I'm going to use. <clears throat> I have two, two by four for my post, but you probably could just use a, a four by four, three feet tall. And then I will be using a Cecil rope, one fourth inch. Also, you will need screws. I'm using two and a half inch screws, drywall screws, and two pieces of wood. I'm gonna use two different sizes. This size will be for the base, that size will be for the top, and some scrap. Uh, you also need a, a staple gun, and I'm gonna use a box cutter to cut my carpet. <clears throat> I'm gonna start by wrapping my Cecil rope around my two by four. So I start here. This will be the base. hammer in the the staples a little bit more to make sure they're flat so he won't get his nails stuck so every 10 I will be stapling make sure it's tight and close together Everything is tight. Very stable. Go ahead. Just put a staple in around every ten. Just to make sure it's secure. And then keep going. Yeah, it might look a little loose with the rope is really coarse and if you're using the one and a half it's really thick so it might look as if it's loose but it's not so i'll keep going around. Okay, now a good thing to do ever so often because the rope is so thick is to kind of use your hammer to push it up to make sure that it's tight. See, and they're kind of close to guess ever so often. As I'm finishing up, I see that I don't have enough rope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my carpet to wrap around the remainder. And then I'll use my remaining rope. That way it'll look nice because my base is going to have carpet also. So note to self, um, get enough rope. I thought 100 feet would be enough, but it's not. So I'm just going to staple this down where my, the rest of my carpet and then I'm going to wrap my rope around it. You see I had to improvise with my carpet and rope. So 
I'm going to continue to wrap the remaining of the rope around with the carpet. Still stapling. I'm doing every three just to reinforce. And now it's time to make the base. Okay, so now as you see, I have cut out uh, my carpet to go. I'm making the base now. So I cut out extra. As you can see, I cut the square as to uh, cover how much is going to be on the top. But then I cut an extra to lap over. So then I just still use my staple gun. <clears throat> Okay, now as you see, I've already used two screws to attach the base to the post. All I did was flip the, the base over and attach it to the post. And then I'm just going to screw it. See, it's attached. And then flip it over. Make sure it can stand. As you see, it's nice and sturdy. And now it's time to attach the top. And I will do the same thing. Okay. So, as you see, I put two nails in the top. We're fixing the top part now. I have attached it to the post. Make sure it's nice and centered. And now I will take my carpet. And attach my carpet and I'll just use staples just to staple it down and then I'll test it out see how he feels and you might want to add just a little bit of catnip if he's kind of I just bought this just to make sure he knows that it's his Just waking up, so he might. He might not. Yep. Yeah. See. So now, instead of scratching the furniture, he's scratching on his very own post. And stay tuned for part two because I plan to add on to this. Thank you.